Okay, welcome back everyone to this uh, tutorial on the intro to uh, the Unreal Engine. And in this particular tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to work with Mixamo animations. So Mixamo is a very cool website uh, where we have a whole bunch of animations and characters that we can download uh, and we can even import our own character and animate that one. So let's quickly have a look at that. Uh, and then see how we can make use of that and import uh, these animations into this environment that we got here um, that we then can play around in and um, yeah, just have some fun with so that you guys can learn some fun new stuff. Right, so first I'm going to show you guys Mixamo. I'm going to drag this in here, open it up, and this is what you'll basically see. So Mixamo, it's Mixamo.com. It's by Adobe, so you. I don't think you need an Adobe account, um, but it helps because it remembers your preferences when you do save stuff, um, when you import characters and stuff like that. Um, so I don't think it's required to have an account, but just go have a look. If you already have Adobe products, like maybe a Photoshop license or any of that, just log in with your uh, Adobe email, and then you're good to go. All right, so... What is this? So it's a website where you've got characters and animations, right? So these are all a bunch of characters that you can use for your own use. Uh, you can download them and animate them basically, right? You can choose um, which ones you want really. Right, I'm just gonna start off with this one, which is the basic one. You also have a 3D viewport in here. And with your left mouse button, you can rotate around. Uh, I think the middle mouse button was to, yeah, move up, down, and the right mouse button is to zoom. Um, so you can do that. And then when you have a character selected, so let's say we choose the SWAT guy if you want it, right? All you have to do is just click on it and then he will load up. And then you're working with this particular character. This is the same one, by the way, uh, that is in the Unreal Engine uh, demo that I use. Um, and this is the one that I've added uh, a, um, a rifle to, and you'll see all that stuff. We'll, we'll have a look at it later on, and most likely in the next video where I'll teach you how to use uh, sockets uh, within Unreal Engine so that you can attach um, items to a character like this one. Right, uh, but that's how, how easy it is. So you just go and select a character that you like, uh, and then as soon as you've got a character that you like, uh, then you can go to your animations and you can basically scroll through every animation. It doesn't matter which character you see in the preview. Uh, all these animations are applicable to the character in your 3D viewport. All right, so let's have a very quick look. Um, let's say, for example, you wanted, you know, one where he's angry. All you have to do is just click on it and he'll have his angry animation, right? It's all played out for you. Uh, quite useful. And so um, you want to try another one, like let's say a cover to stand, you click on it, see, and there we go. Okay, it's really that simple. Now, uh, if you want to try it on another character, because you say, hmm, I prefer another character, just go back to your characters and say, I guess I prefer the Vanguard maybe. All you have to do is, yeah, you get this uh, message, you just press proceed, and the exact same animation will be played out on this character now. Okay, that's pretty, pretty interesting. Um, you've got a lot of animations. Okay, you've got 84 animations per page. If we scroll down, um, oh, these are characters, sorry. <laughs> well, either way, you can do the math. I mean, it's 84 times three, uh, so that's over 130 something characters uh, that you can play with, that's one. But in animations, it's also 84 per page. If you scroll down, there are 52 pages, and I think they're all the way to the end. If I click on 52, um, yeah, it goes all the way to the end. So it's 48 times 52. Uh, I think it's close to 2,500 animations, close. I'm not a genius in maths, but um, I think it's somewhere around there. Uh, don't shoot me if I got it wrong, but I think it's something like that. Um, and the yeah, same thing here. So it's really that simple. 
Right. So, and some animations are useful, like this one, for example, where uh, there's a jump from a one platform to another, for example. So that's all in there. You've got walking animations, and you've got a search, which is very useful. So when you click on the search, you've got your combat, your adventure, sport, anything. So you say you want to do something with sports, and you want it to do a uh, header for soccer ball. Okay, so there happens to be a footballer in here. I remember that somewhere. If I were to go to, I think it was on page one. Let me quickly check. Oh, this is page one. Page two then. Otherwise, if you also want to find him, normally, yeah, here, no, was this the guy? I don't remember. Let's click on football. Quickly. Oh, there you go. We got our character. Just use this character. And it will look a little bit more natural, uh, this animation. Um, so you've got your animations that you can use. And again, because you've got your um, search uh, filter, all right, it says football here. So then you've got all these um, different type of things. Now, I have a feeling that this is American football because you've got football and maybe we should type in soccer, which is the term used in the United States. Um, and then you've got animations uh, for soccer, right? Or football as it's used uh, or called in Europe. Um, you've got all these cool animations that you can use. And once you've got all these animations, right? Then you can basically um, play around with them, right? You can choose the direction. Um, you can go in overdrive, which means that it will do really over the top type of animation. Uh, you can still modify it, basically. See? Uh, you can basically do anything you really want. Uh, and then you can trim it. Obviously, it's say, okay, I want it to start at that frame. I don't need the other frame, I only need this particular part. Uh, so that's quite useful. And uh, that's basically it. Once you've got a character that you like, that you need in your animation, so let's get this out of here, for example. And um, there are a few that I used. Uh, I used this young man uh, called James. I didn't use him for football, though. Uh, I used him for something else. Um, and once you've got them, you can just uh, import them, right? So say, let's say for, for the fun. For the sake of it, let's say that you wanted to get this particular animation. So you looked at it and you're like, yeah, that's exactly what I need, right? So once you've got it, we'll turn this back to zero, for example, so that we've got the whole thing. Once you got it, you can download, right? and then you get the option of the format. Right? So you've got these different type of formats. I usually just leave it on FBX binary. Uh, with skin means that you're going to download the skin of the character. So the mesh, uh, if you already have the mesh imported into Unreal, because you can do that, uh, then it's better to uh, export without skin, because otherwise you're going to uh, be importing the mesh over and over and over again. Not really interesting, right? So that's important to know. Uh, and then your frames per second, you can choose. I leave it standard on 30. Uh, Unreal also uses 30 standard. Uh, and then here you can choose a uh, keyframe uh, reduction. I just leave it at none. Um, you can choose what you want. And then you press download and that's it. It will download uh, a FBX file. And that FBX file you can drag and drop uh, into your Unreal um, Engine or editor. Now, what happens when you want to use your own character? Right? Let's say you've got a really cool character that you made in Maya or in Blender or wherever 3D package you use, and it's a character that you can rig. Well, you can do that by upload character, and then it's going to ask you to drag and drop a character. I'm quickly going to do that, one of my characters that I've made in Blender. Um, so it's a simple FBX. It's the one I use for previous when I do Blender work, uh, when I have to do some previous inside Blender. Uh, this is one of the male characters, so it's going to ask you, is this the character that you want? Uh, you can rotate it around to see what the orientation is. For me, this is perfect. Uh, then you just press next, and now it's going to ask you to uh, position these points on the spots that you want. So the chin, for example, here. Um, let's see, let's move it up a little bit. The wrists, because you've got your use symmetry on, you only have to do one of them. See, it's going to do both right there, so let's say the wrist is more or less there. Then the elbows, I'm gonna move that to the elbows right here. 
then the knees that would be somewhere here and the groin which it attaches also to the line in the middle which is quite useful uh, and then we can agree that the groin is basically right there okay and then once we got that done you can choose what type of skeleton you have so it's a uh, three chain fingers two chain fingers no fingers uh, in my case they have all fingers so it's a standard skeleton and then you press next now it says auto rigging it says can take up to two minutes it goes actually much faster than that well on my computer at least uh, i think in a few seconds i've got the character done it's going to rotate it's going to rig uh, and once you've got this done then all the animations in this library at Mixamo, you will be able to use them on your character. The exact same, so the, the same thousands of animations that we got, these ones, you will be able to um, use them. So here you can quickly test and see if the movements are okay. Uh, it's a quick way of testing. If you say, yeah, that's good, okay, you press next. And it says she has been uploaded. And you just press next again. And here you go. Now he's doing the animation that you had uh, previously in uh, in here, right? So again, choose your other animation if you want. Let me quickly get rid of this. And say, for example, you needed a anything, a jump or anything. So you press jump, and you've got many different type of jumps that you can look at, right? For example, a big jump, right? So you click on that, and there you go. Let me quickly zoom out so you can see it a bit better. Up. He does a very cool big jump, runs, there we go. Right, on some of the animations, uh, when it's, for example, running, let me type in running, you will have the option here, for example, let me click running, then you've got this option where it says in place. That is quite important when you're gonna import into Unreal, I would strongly recommend that you use the in place um, so that you can still control the direction and speed and all that stuff, uh, how you want to set it up. Right, so this is what I would do if you were to um, take it into Unreal. Okay, and the same thing here, you just download, and if you don't have the character yet, you do it with skin. Um, if you already have a few that you have downloaded before that, and you wanted to add more animations, you do without skin, because it, once you import it to Unreal, it's gonna ask you uh, which uh, skeleton or rig do you want to attach to this particular um, animation. And then if you already had the previous one, then all you have to do is just assign it and that's it. Um, so all the same stuff. So I'm not going to do this. We, I already have that done for you guys to win some time. And that's really as simple as it is. So here we've got a set of animations. So I'm going to quickly um, go back to Unreal. So let's see for that. Let's get back to here. There we go. And now I'm going to go to my Mixamo content because I already have this done. See here you've got already some of the uh, files from uh, importing. So for example, for this particular character, right, the, you have a skeletal mesh and you've got a physics asset. You can just place down the skeletal, skeletal mesh. If you put the physics asset, asset in there, it's going to um, use physics and you have to turn off physics otherwise it will collapse uh, on itself but, but don't worry just put in the skeletal mesh once you've got the skeletal mesh uh, it's really simple right in animation as we've seen uh, previously you can use a animation asset and here you've got a whole bunch of animations that you can use um, that we have so for example if you wanted this guy to let's see where is it where are we uh, I saw something interesting here. I can't find it anymore. Let's, let's make the guy, oops, sorry. Let's make him twerk. All right, all you gotta do is just select it. He, he will be ready in his position. And I remember here, if I'm not mistaken, we had a play here. Uh, yeah, all I have to do now is just walk around and there you go. We got our character from Mixamo who is now twerking for us. Okay, so, um, it's really that simple. You can import your characters, your animations, really that easily as this. Okay, and it's quite useful. Um, and you can get anything out of it that you really want to get out of it, right? Okay, let's press escape. Um, and the same for the ones that um, I might have imported myself. So I'll quickly show you an import. Uh, the dance animations that you just saw, they came from here. They're all also from Mixamo. So they're all breakdancing type of uh, animations, which 
uh, are used in the demo as well uh, that I used in the very first video of this course. You can see this um, dancing animation. Uh, okay, so then uh, what else would be useful to have a look at? Let's quickly look at how to import. Just let's import once. Okay, so I'm quickly going to uh, create a new folder just to keep structure. And I'm going to call this, uh, let's see, uh, my own character, right? And in here, I'm going to double click. And I'm going to import my character. So let's see, let's start with a, I'll start with this one, a fast run. Okay, I do not believe that I've imported this one yet, but I do know here with the skeleton, I do know that he uses the exact same skeleton as the, uh, let's see, after, it uses the same as the, no, not the female base, wait one second. Uh, da, 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 da. The walk with rifle one I know he uses because that's the same, they're all from Mixamo, these ones, that's why I know it. See, it, when I look at the path, it says game Mixamo content, content, can't speak today. Uh, mix some more content and in there um, that, that's why I know it's the that same rig so if I were to do that it will also attach to that one right um, if I leave it at none uh, let's say clear then it will just attach to this particular character uh, which we have we have a skeletal mesh and you can import mesh so let's do an import all just like oh let's not forget the converts scene unit quite important to keep the same units uh, in place so we've got our import animations, has to be uh, yeah, ticked on. Your skeletal mesh, your import mesh, because this one does have a mesh. Let's import it, and there we go. See, now we've got this one, and it will attach to fast run skeleton. That's the one. All right, so if I were to uh, quickly bring in the, if you put in the animation sequence, it will basically bring in the skeletal mesh plus the animation already turned on, right? And then, so if we were to, let's, Play that again really quickly. Um, where is this? Right here. Let's bring our character over there again. Up. Oh, see? It'll just basically be doing that. Right? And this is the character that I had. Um, right. So, with that done, uh, now if you were to import any other thing, like for example, you want a jump to follow up. So, I import now another one. It says jumping.fbx. Now, in this case, I will import only the skeleton. Right? I won't import the... wait, the mesh... Yeah, that's fine. I don't need the mesh. The animation is fine. Uh, let's open this up. That's all fine. And all I have to do is import. Because in this case, actually, it's not even asking me if to import the mesh. Why? Because when I exported it from Mixamo, I ticked off the to um, attach the mesh. So if I were to import... See, now I've got the jumping animation. So if I were to change this character now and give him the jumping animation see it will already recognize that this belongs to there because it was using the same um, it's using the exact same rig right and like that i can create a whole bunch of animations that i want so again i will quickly press play and let's see see he's doing his jumping animation right here so all we would need to do is put a nice fence here for him to jump over and then we've got a really cool uh jumping animation that we have imported from Mixamo, right? Uh, the cool thing also is that once you've got these animations from Mixamo, you can um, import them also back into uh, Maya or Blender and change the frames if you wanted to. You can change them to whatever you need. Uh, if you want something else or you wanted to modify the animation a little bit uh, because maybe the jump has to be a little bit higher or a little bit lower or a little bit further or shorter or whatever it is, um, you can use that. And that's it basically. That's that's how to use Mixamo, uh, how to uh, get uh, your stuff from Mixamo, how to import them. And um, I'd say uh, that we can review the rest in the next video where we will talk about how to attach sockets uh, to our characters and how uh, by doing so you can link your uh, like swords weapons and all that stuff to characters like these there you go that was the video it was a short one this time i hope you guys liked it and i will see you guys in the next one